you a superhero? No, no. In the DC comic series Naomi, the titular teenager begins investigating past superhero activity in her small Oregon hometown after its downtown is torn up by a fight between Superman and the alien supervillain Mongol. A Superman sighting also triggers her search for answers in the CW's Naomi, but it's a lot more surprising in the show's world where Superman is just a famous comic book character and superheroes aren't real. That flip sets up a compelling mystery in the show's pilot, though the episode is dragged down by a bit of corny writing. Can we have code names? I call Elrond from Lord of the Rings. Naomi's pilot starts off a bit rough, trying too hard to celebrate Naomi's Gen Z hipness. There's an unnecessary opening voiceover where Naomi explains that this is her superhero origin story before the action heads to a house party where all the other high school kids seem to think she's the coolest. Maybe it will turn out that this entire world has been built around her as its main character, the Truman Show style. If not, the repeated shouts of Naomi as she enters the scene and starts dancing after exclaiming, this is my jam, feel extremely forced. So does the saccharine banter where her dad says she won't be allowed to drive before graduation, so she takes off on her skateboard shouting, these are the only wheels I've got. Luckily, the episode eventually moves to the mystery Naomi's probing when she, a Superman superfan, misses a stunt involving the Man of Steel in the town square. She goes into full investigation mode and finds that both the town's menacing car dealer, Zumbato, and off-putting tattoo artist D seem to be oddly unsurprised by what's happening. Given that Superman has his own show on the same network and the CW has repeatedly placed its superheroes on different versions of Earth only to have them meet in crossovers, it's likely that Naomi won't stay isolated from the rest of the Arrowverse for long. But the current plot and setting allow for a fascinating journey of self-discovery that also provides a meta-commentary on the power of superhero stories. The Naomi comic was a sort of backdoor reboot of Superman, a new story of a powerful young hero from another world learning their secret origins and embracing goodness with the help of their kind adoptive parents. The Arrowverse leaned on big alien plots and social justice themes in Supergirl and family drama in Superman and Lois, but Naomi comes closest to capturing the wonder of early Superman stories. There's even a bit of Clark Kent in Naomi's investigative blogging, which actually feels better realized than the journalism plots in Supergirl or Superman and Lois. Naomi is written and executive produced by Selma and a Wrinkle in Time director, Ava DuVernay, and Arrow writer and producer, Jill Blankenship, and has the Arrowverse's distinctive superhero soap opera vibe. But at a time when many of the CW superhero shows have wrapped or dropped in popularity and quality, a fresh face on a new world could give the network a needed revival, if it improves upon some of the flaws in its premiere. While the first episode of Naomi has some cheesy dialogue and tries a bit too hard to show how cool its protagonist is, the central mystery of the series presents a lot of potential. Setting the show outside of the standard Arrowverse gives the CW a chance to refresh its take on the genre while providing exciting crossover potential. For more TV reviews, check out what we thought of the premieres of Peacemaker and The Book of Boba Fett. And for everything else, stick with IGN.